Well, all this week we are celebrating a big anniversary here at WBZ. Lisa Hughes has been with us now for 15 years. So tonight we have a special look back at your career here on the air. Take a look. It's a wild story out of Chelsea tonight. Where From the first time she took the WBZ anchor desk in the year 2000. TV4. New information tonight on the plane crash that killed John F. Kennedy Jr. It has been 15 years of commitment to our viewers and our community for Lisa Hughes. For years, campuses and students have shared the responsibility for underage binge drinking. And during those years, her steady voice and insight has helped us through tragedy. When we could see the flames coming out of the first of those two towers, and it was only minutes later that the second tower was hit by the second plane. My initial reaction was, there'd be another. And then when there was, I didn't know whether to get off the photo bridge or whether to stay there. I mean, am I in a safe place right now or am I in the worst place right now? She's also helped us to celebrate. Are you gonna shave it if they win the whole thing? Hell no. And I think we proved again tonight that the nation's oldest first night celebration is still the best. An unbelievable performance. She really is involved in the community. When people see her, they know that that's where things are going on in Boston. What do you say to people who say, Charlie Baker's just a numbers guy, he has no empathy? She's comfortable with the powerful. Mr. President, what do you want to say to the people of Boston and the people who are visiting Boston before this year's Boston Marathon? I want to just say how proud I am of the entire city. And with the people who are hurting. For how many of you and your families did the addiction start with prescription drugs? Lisa is anything but anchored. Finally, this historic conclave is underway. She reported from the Vatican when Pope Francis was elected, from the World Series, and from Super Bowls, and from the finish line of the Boston Marathon. The Ethiopian Lisa DeCisa breaks the tape. It was the night before Christmas. But it's not just journalism. Lisa does so much for the city. You know, it seems like every single charity I go to, uh, Lisa is, is emceeing the charity. Could she build a gizmo to help her aunt fly? Lisa gives her time and energy to a wide range of community groups, like Big Sisters. And as a board member, she's an advocate, she's a fundraiser, but most importantly, she's our friend. And the Pan Mass Challenge, where she also rides to fight cancer. And she believes in the mission, and that makes her an incredibly effective advocate. Welcome, Santa. Lisa is our newsroom encourager-in-chief. She gives voice to those who may not be famous but have a lot to say and brings clarity and perspective in our hectic world. Wow, that hair at the beginning is really something, right? I just couldn't help thinking years. how lucky we are to live here. Like, looking back on that and seeing all those things. I mean, unfortunately, there were so many tragedies, but we live in an amazing place, and I can think of no better city where I'd want to do local news. We're so lucky to have you. We really are. Thank you so much. And you had a great idea for us to put that story together. Well, no, yeah. just kidding. Oh my God. No. <laughs> just kidding. She had no idea we were doing this. None. You may be one of the funniest Congratulations. people. Congratulations. Seriously, Thank 15 you. years. Here's to another 15 more. We have fake uh, champagne. Here you go. Awesome. Cheers. Champagne. Okay, great. Zoom.